Ooh. Ooh. Okay, now that, now that is nice. That is. Hey, everybody. It's Ronnie from Sense Science. Welcome back to another video. And today, I have something very special for y'all. I may have just found a one-to-one -one clone of Killian's Angel Share. I'm gonna be honest with you. This is probably the closest one I found, and it was a blind buy. See, Angel Share is way too expensive. And y'all know me, I do not like paying retail for anything. But it's something about Angel Share, especially here in the colder seasons, they really don't wanna come off anything. I was on the hunt, scouring Reddit, scouring the different groups I'm a part of, and just looking here on YouTube, and I came across something really unique. It's called Cocktail Intense by Fragrance World. I'll give you the link below to where I got it from. It was actually pretty quick shipping. Now this right here, I'm gonna match it up against Angel Share and I'm gonna let y'all know what I think about it. I gave it a wear yesterday. I'm gonna give you what my wife thought about it. And if I would consider this a great buy, especially since nobody wanna come off the price on Angel Share. Now, if you watched any of my previous videos, you know exactly what happened to my bottle of Angel Share. I broke it, but this right here is the decant that I made of it. So I always like to keep a little bit around just in case I travel and it came in handy. It wouldn't be sense science unless I gave you a breakdown of the notes. Let's go to my brand new iPad and I'm gonna give you a breakdown of the notes. The iPad is actually pretty nice. I got it with the magic keyboard so I can pick it up and type on it. As soon as you pull up Google, you'll see that nobody wanna come off of it. Even on fragrancenet.com, one of my favorite discount sites, they're still talking about 210. Now, Angel Share have main accords of woody, warm, spicy, it's sweet, vanilla, cinnamon, amber, and powdery. I don't smell that powder at all. I don't know why they put that as a main accord. But hey, like I always say, for Grantica, take it with a grain of salt. This is definitely a cold weather fragrance. I would only wear this in fall, autumn, and winter. It's one of those fragrances that definitely will get clawing, especially if you wear it outside of those seasons. I would say any temperature under about roughly 77 degrees. If you're in a high humidity climate, like I would say like Florida, Louisiana, I would drop that even down to about 74. This is really a cool weather fragrance. The top notes are going to be cognac. The middle notes are going to be cinnamon, some tonka beans, some oak, some pure lane at the bottom, vanilla and sandalwood. On the top, just fresh out of the bottle, you're getting yourself a blast of cognac. It's definitely one of those liqueur fragrances. And because it's cognac, I'm just joking, it's nothing but some apple juice. The reactions I usually get from Angel Share, if you watch my Angel Share video, is that this smells like McDonald's apple pie. This is not one of my wife's favorites per se. She like manlier scents on me, but this right here, my wife actually likes wearing herself. It smells completely different on the feminine side of the fence than it is on the masculine side of the fence. I think because you get those sweet notes, that apple pie tasting type of fragrance, and my wife absolutely loves wearing this for herself, but she's kind of up in the air when it comes to me. Now for cocktail intense. So because this is new, at least new to me, I'm going to read you off the description of it because I couldn't really find an accurate note breakdown of it. With the first drop of sweet, Coco Tonka Bean greets you together with the majestic amber to add a dreamy depth while playful sparkle of citrus bergamot reveals a fresh bitter echo. That sounds nice, right? <laughs> Sinfully tempting chocolate praline with a decadent vanilla cinnamon foam will play an indulgent aroma in which there is also a spicy accord of nutmeg. The floral solo presents a noble beauty of tuberose hidden in the embrace of rare woods in the finish. Angel Share's Anniversary Edition perfume by Killian was the inspiration for the fragrance, Fragrance World Cocktail Intense. Now, do I believe that? Maybe, maybe not, but that does not matter. Let's open up the box and let's take a peek on how it looks. Now I'm gonna tell you exactly what I believe is in this fragrance, fresh out of the bottle. 
If you hear any noise in the background, that's the cat playing around. What I smell fresh out of the bottle is Angel Share. I would say this is a one-to-one, -one. at least fresh out of the bottle. I smell the cognac on top. I smell a little bit of that cinnamon and sandalwood, some of that oak. Definitely smell the vanilla. I mean, I smell this Angel Share. Fresh out, you couldn't tell the difference. This is definitely a contender. I know Kismet make a Angel Share clone themselves, but this one to me actually smells better. Let me know if you want me to make a video of this versus Angel Share versus Kismet's version, just so I can give my honest opinion on it. Now that we gave it a sniff fresh out the bottle, let's see what it smells like on paper. I got some new spritz in. Want to make sure I don't get any spritz in my apple juice. First up, Angel Share. And I know what Angel Share smell like, but I just wanted just to give y'all, again, my honest opinion on it. It smells like that cognac, that apple pie, fresh out of a McDonald's, right on paper. And don't worry, I'm gonna let you know how it smells after a dry down. Next up, Cocktail Intense by Fragrance World. I smell more of the cognac on paper on this. It smells more liqueur. The vanilla hasn't hit the script yet. Well, the vanilla hasn't developed off the script yet. Now I'm starting to smell some more of that cinnamon uh, I know the description said it has nutmeg. I'm starting to smell some nutmeg, so nutmeg may be a note. Yeah, this is definitely different, but it's extremely close. It's extremely close. Now, we're going to let those dry down. It's been about 30 minutes, and as you can tell, I finished my apple juice. Let's see what the dry down smells like. First, Angel Share. Yep, yeah, Angel Share, still Angel Share on paper. Don't worry, I'ma spray it on my skin as well. It did not change. It pretty much stayed linear on paper, but that's to be expected. Especially with Killing, if you spray it on paper, it usually doesn't morph, at least in my opinion. Now, Cocktail Intense. Yeah, this changed. Not in a bad way though. This brought out more of that vanilla. This got a lot, a lot closer to Angel Share. Yeah, I can't tell the difference on paper. The dry downs matched. Probably 99.9%. .9%. Yeah, I would say one to one. I would definitely call this a one to one, at least on paper. So, I have two hands, I have two fragrances. Let's see what they smell like on skin. Angel Share on the left, Cocktail Intense on the right. Be back in 30 more minutes and I'll explain the dry down on skin. All right, and we're back. So, left hand was Angel Share. Right hand was the cocktail intense. Let's see what the skin dry down smells like. Angel Share always smell like apple pie to me and my wife. On skin, I really don't get any of that cognac sweetness. I just smell McDonald's apple pie and I would say this is more of a slightly overcooked apple pie, but still an apple pie that I would enjoy. Yep, it's just apple pie to me even on the dry down. So, the cocktail intense. Now, this is where the differences come. On skin on the dry down, this right here leans more masculine now. This is like cognac and very, very, very slight smokiness to it. You still smell the cinnamon. A lot of the vanilla then dissipated. This right here would be more of like a grown type of fragrance and this one right here would be a little bit younger. If I could put this in the age category, I would say this one would be 25 to 30, like you just was able to go into the 25 and up club. And this right here would be more of that 30 and up crowd. I'm not saying that you can't wear either or at any age, but I'm just saying just from how I feel. Yeah, they're no longer a one-to-one -one on the dry down. It's more like 90% um, Angel Share, but it shifted masculine. So anybody who thinks that Angel Share may be a little too sweet for them, maybe a little feminine for them, and you trying to save yourself a hundred plus dollars, really it's 150 plus dollars, I would definitely say go with the Cocktail Intense, but Angel Share is a great piece to have in your collection. If you just want to be a little bit more flirty when it comes to how you smell, want to be a little bit more unisex, I would definitely say women do not buy this because on skin it will turn masculine. And speaking of ladies, the main lady, my lady, my wife, Mrs. Sense, I wore this yesterday. She already know how Angel Share smells. So 
I asked her honest opinion on this after a day of wear. She said that this here is what Andrew Share should have been because it has that little hint of sweetness, but it has that masculinity to it. And she loves masculine fragrances on me. It's rare that there is a sweet fragrance that she does like on me. She loves this fragrance right here. So I'm definitely going to wear this to reserve the little bit of Andrew Share that I do have left. I'm definitely going to wear this. This is my scent of the day. I'm gonna actually put this on now. I know some of you may be asking why so many sprays because I know with Andrew Share I only do three. The only problem that I have with this is that the longevity on it is nowhere near Angel Share. I wore this out on skin. It lasted maybe five, maybe six hours, five and a half. And on clothes, it lasted about eight or nine. This was one of the only fragrances that I have that are clones. I don't have many, but the ones that I do have that do not last 12 plus hours on clothes. This is okay to go a little heavy on the trigger because the dry down weakens a lot. Um, the initial burst is kind of loud. If you spray it, I say about 10, 15 minutes, it'll calm down. I would say this is a six to seven sprayer and Angel Share is only about a three, maybe four. And that's just because the longevity issue. Now, I know with clones from these houses, they need to let fragrances macerate. And I did not let that fragrance do this because it's new, I just got it. I will do a follow-up review, maybe around December, after I gave it some time to mature a little bit. I appreciate y'all coming to another video. I appreciate y'all growing with me on this channel. We are almost to our next goal. The goal is always to be monetized. Right now we have roughly about 2,000 hours and to get monetization we need to be at 4,000 hours. We got the amount of subs and I really do appreciate that. And I didn't forget about the giveaway. I'm still waiting on Ani. I actually sent an email to the discounter and they haven't emailed me back yet. I'm thinking there may be a restock issue, but I'm trying to get it as quick as I possibly can. If it doesn't show up in about the next two weeks, just for y'all on the channel, I'll buy it retail because I promised y'all I was going to give it to you and I'm kind of late on my promise and I don't like breaking my promises, especially to the people who actually care and help this channel grow. I can't do it in the next two weeks. I'll just go buy a retail for you all here at the channel so I can do that giveaway. But like always, I thank you for coming. I thank you for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'm trying my best to make sure that I give y'all quality content. And I hope the new mic is doing well. As you can see, it's a lapel. This is Ronnie from Sensei.